Cora TV. The world is thinking. So many people come up to me um, after uh, I've given a talk or whatever, and you know, particularly uh, younger, uh, like law students or college students, and they'll say, you know, I just always thought the Supreme Court was just so above politics, and I always had so much faith in the court <laughs> until this decision, Bush versus Gore. And that's what the liberal justices said at the time. I remember they had just these very strong dissenting opinions that the decision was going to, you know, forever undermine the public faith and confidence in the Supreme Court as an institution um, because the conservative justices embraced an argument that equal protection, that when, when do you ever hear Scalia and Thomas e embracing an equal protection argument? Uh, ironically, the liberals, though, embraced a position that, more of a states' rights position, that they don't normally embrace either. I mean, that case kind of on both sides had justices you know, we often talk about the conservative justices taking us path, but the liberals did too. Um, the liberal justices I talked to um, believe to this day very strongly that that case never would have been decided that way if the parties had been reversed, if it had been Gore versus Bush. You know, they don't, they say the justices never would have taken up that case. It just would have continued on down in Florida. But the conservatives are unrepentant. They say, they had a duty to the country. It was a country in crisis. Justice Kennedy said this was a no-brainer. You've got a state court. Remember how the Florida Supreme Court was ordering these recounts to continue without any standards? You know, you've got a state court deciding uh, a federal constitutional issue to determine a presidential election. You know, that can't happen. Uh, Justice O'Connor said, you know, that the Florida Supreme Court was off on a trip of its own in her blunt style, the way she speaks. Um, so they had this duty to step in. And they believe very strongly, Kennedy said, that before he cast his vote in that case, he, you know, he walked around the marble corridors of the Supreme Court, really just kind of searching himself to make sure that he would vote the same way if the parties had been reversed. And he concluded he would have. Now, the liberal justices don't buy that. But the most fascinating thing I found out about Bush versus Gore was how Bush versus Gore really came about. Um, and it was all through this swing vote, this moderate justice, Anthony Kennedy. The liberals, particularly Breyer and Souter, believed very strongly that they could get Justice Kennedy's vote. And they'd been successful in the past on abortion and school prayer and some of the other cases. They'd been able to peel Kennedy off uh, to have him join the more liberal side. So it was Breyer and Souter who started talking about this equal protection theory, thinking that if they could tell uh, Justice Kennedy that they would go along with that, but that the recounts still needed to continue, that they could peel him off to the liberal side. And of course, um, at the end of the day, instead what happened was they ended up with a mess. Kennedy uh, embraced that equal protection argument, but he refused to go all the way with them and say, let the recounts continue. He stuck with the conservatives and said, you know, the recounts had to stop and that effectively turned the White House over to George W. Bush. Um, he is adamant that he would never have changed his vote. And he says if he had had one more day, he thinks he might have been able to change Dave Souter's vote or Steve Breyer's vote. I, I don't see any evidence of that. <laughs> um, and some of the other liberal justices that I spoke with about v Bush versus Gore say that they, sh they believe that um, Breyer and Souter were just optimistic, too optimistic, that Kennedy was never going to change his vote, that the second that the court decided to take that case, they believed it was over, that it was clear what the outcome was going to be, and um, so, and that's what happened.